Okay, hello guys, this is Elke Schim on the Eichberg. Today I try the Easy Antenna Tracker version 2 with a very simple setup. It means I have just the pan servo enabled here and basically glued everything together. There is a diversity receiver, the antenna tracker and one big sail winch servo and that's it. Combined with a directional antenna. I've already standing the shugong here with enough satellites and uh, it features easy OSD telemetry sends it via the audio channel to the antenna tracker and we even see the status here first thing I did is uh, setting home I'm gonna get the plane, uh, the copter down the road there and try bearing calibration. Now it's in the direction of the tree and the antenna is heading wrong. Do some bearing calibration which which seems nice. Yeah it, it's about the right direction. So now I'm thinking about letting the copter fly back to me remote takeoff get some correct antenna movement now. Yeah. Looks about right. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay with this angle. Yeah, um, I would say we are set up nicely. Gonna do a full 360. Okay. <laughs> Had to do the, the spin. And the antenna points the right direction, I love it. Now the full turn. Yeah, and even at two meters of distance, GPS tracking is accurate enough for the antenna to follow me. Okay, enough confidence now to fly it uh, FPV uh, with the tracker enabled.
Okay, so let's uh, do a short summary of this uh, easy tracker test. Uh, the first flight with line of sight flying was okay. It proved that the antenna would point exactly in the direction I wanted it to, uh, to, the, to the plane, to the copter. The setup steps are really easy. I got me the, the manual with me printed out, but you really just, there are three ways of setting up the, the antenna and the, the direction of the antenna. And the most easy for me is uh, the bearing calibration mode, where you just... Uh, first of course you have to set the home point. That means you power up your copter, achieve enough satellites, place it next to the tracker and hit set home in the menu. So the tracker knows his uh, GPS position. The second uh, part of this is walking away with the copter let's say 30 feet, place it there and in bearing calibration move the antenna so long until you point directly onto the copter. So it's calibrated, it can uh, easily track uh, all your motions very accurate. So that worked really good. Like feeling like an idiot if you stand on a mountain and some mountain bikers pass you and they see you with the cam set up and everything. They, they sure think it's a documentary that's, that's filmed here. So for startup procedure just do the bearing calibration, it was the easiest for me. And it really worked accurate enough, it really gives you 300, 360 degree freedom uh, to move around here and that's really cool, cool feeling to fly. You have the tracker here, of course. The tracker has USB port. It has three audio outs, uh, audio video uh, out. It has two ports for the server, and which which I found interesting, and I already told the immersion this. Um, this one here is the pan server. I don't know how you would read this, but <laughs> it looks like it's. Uh, labeled the, the, the wrong way around, so just keep that in mind if you set it up. Pan servo is the lower one. On the other side we have the cable, the ground station link cable, which is really a smart idea. It's six cables. And it's the same plug that you used ages ago for mice and keyboards. So this is, I could have made a shorter cable, but I just did it around here. That's the connection from the diversity or from the normal uh, immersion RC receiver to the antenna tracker and it's really nice. It gives it power. Oh, a dog comes. <laughs> gives it power, video link and control link. So you can set from the tracker. Doggy. Feste. Steigen wir einfach nicht drauf, dann sind wir gut. I just glued these two devices together and also took some dual sided tape to glue the big sail winch servo to the easy tracker here and to the immersion uh, to the diversity. So that's really, yeah, it really it, it just sticks to it really good connection and works and up on the side if you use such a small and lightweight antenna you get away with uh, having it placed on top of the servo which you shouldn't do if you have a heavy setup here and here I just estimated an angle of around uh, 20 degree because the the opening angle is 35 degree and some so you have 17 and a half degree down and 17, 17 and a half degree up. So fix, fixed uh, angle here. Yeah, and on this side here you see I have an uh, antenna connection cable. I had to use a longer cable, not to tangle up the cables. And I also have the skew planner wheel antenna here, which is not in the optimal position but it's just 
a second on the Anna in case. Okay, since it worked so well, I'm gonna try another flight. If it's a nice flight, you'll see it on my channel soon. Thanks for watching this uh, another review. This this thing is really nice. I I saw some trackers and setups of friends on FPV meetings, and I always thought um, that's way too complicated for me. I don't want to spend half an hour in setting up my ground station. Instead, I just want to fly. And with this thing, you can really be uh, ready in five or ten minutes. You just have to do one calibration. Yeah, and if you always flying on the same field you could mark your tripod's feet on the ground and have uh, the same bearing all the time so you would be set up really fast but even with the bearing calibration step you're ready to go in a few minutes so thanks for watching bye